a posterior subcapsular cataract. The edges appear to be stellate. There are stretch folds which are extending from the margin of the cataract to the posterior capsule. A high risk presentation, one has to be extremely careful. I would prefer to do in the low pressure technique of fecosuction where the positive pressure is totally avoided. A nice rexis was possible. I do a capsular separating hydrodissection even in such patients, but they are zonal, they are segmental. I doesn't fluid doesn't go under the opacity because I'm not sure how much is the adherence between the opacity and the posterior capsule. Being a soft cataract, I could manipulate it easily into the anterior chamber with two instruments. One is injecting viscoelastic through a 26 gauge candela. The nucleus and epinucleus could be comfortably removed from the cataract. That is the subcapsular cataract portion as you saw, which was very close to the capsule. It has left fibrotic plaques on the posterior capsule, but the separation was pretty easy without taking any risk the posterior capsule. Note that there is no ballooning of the posterior capsule, which happens in a closed eye. The entire surgery is done through an open eye and the posterior capsule remains lax and the threat of perforation or a tear in the posterior capsule is minimized. Not that it cannot occur, but it's minimized. Aspiration of the cortex is easy because you have done the hydrodissection and there is no stretch of the posterior capsule. The lens epithelial cells on the back of the anterior capsule is thoroughly polished. All the cortical material is aspirated from the capsular bag so that postoperative information will be released. And an IO is placed. The patient has opted for a multifocal lens. I would prefer to, though it comes in a cartridge, pre-loaded pre cartridge, I would like to actually, because I have an advantage of an adequate sized incision, I do not have to fold and push it through a narrow cartridge. So the multifocal lens, in my opinion, would perform extremely well in such situation where you not damage the very fine configuration of the lens surface lens is uh, implanted into the capsular bag. There is a certain amount of fibrotic tissue on the back of the capsule which can be addressed later with the AG laser. That's the end of surgery. Thank you.